Hey, Camarillo Community Church. Hey, we are backstage with Peter Furler and going to ask him some uh, questions before uh, we get ready to start the one service at 930. You don't want to miss it. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how we can flip this around. Hey Peter! Hey! What's up? So Peter came from uh, Oceanside last night. Yeah. And we'll be in Carpinteria tonight. Yeah. You guys can still get tickets. Go see Peter. And um, so Peter, how, how did you decide, because you're the founding member of the Newsboys, mm -hmm. and how did you decide on the name Newsboys rather than like Newsmen or News? Well, we were boys at the time, young kids starting out in a, in a garage in my dad's uh, house. And uh, we had a, in our early days, we had a major effect on people with our music. Uh, our neighbors hated us so much that they put sugar in my dad's gas tank and ruined his car because they were so fed up with the band. So we were one of them bands that you hear in your neighborhood, uh, uh, yeah, making a lot of noise. So, but the name, I don't know, I, maybe it was just easy to spell. Yes. <laughs> okay. So uh, something I didn't know is you actually started out as a drummer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Drums are kind of my uh, primary instrument. If I had to go to war, I'd probably go as a drummer. Yeah? And, uh, so how'd you make the transition from drums to the front? Well, I lost a bet. You that lost a bet? Yeah, I lost a bet. That was it. So no, I just I um, as I didn't really write a lot of the early stuff uh, with the Newsboys. I was the drummer. In fact, they turned my mic off most of the time. I had a mic on my drum kit that I was singing to, but they didn't you know didn't appreciate me. <laughs> and uh, so I uh, as the years went on and several members left, and uh, I started to. to develop as a songwriter and so I just started to kind of work on that and as I was working on being a songwriter I uh, I would sing the demos you know and sing the the, the rough tracks just to uh, to show the singer you know kind of my idea of how of the melody and uh, so that kind of was really like practicing and so I kind of just developed that and then when uh, I think it was in maybe the uh, mid 90s when the singer left uh, we went and actually looked for a singer and uh, had a couple of options here and there, but uh, we ended up just kind of keeping it in camp. And so, so we, did you have to audition as the lead vocalist? I did, and they turned my mic on, and I got the gig. Hey, and we've been blessed ever since. So the other thing I didn't know is uh, this is all like trivia to me. So you and Mark, your, your brother that's uh -huh. here, are related to your cousin is Sia. Yeah. So. Did you guys grow up seeing her face? No, we're uh, there's not many furlers around, as you can tell. It's a uh, you know it's a fairly uh, I get the joke. It's uh, <laughs> there's not many uh, furlers around, so we're all related, and uh, yeah, we've never met, but I think she's amazing. Awesome. Uh, so you've had, you've written 27 number ones. Do you have a favorite out of all the songs that you've written? Uh, I haven't written it yet. You haven't written it yet. No, no. I think probably uh, uh, maybe he reigns or lost the plot would be probably my. That was a, the last track on a record called "Take Me to Your Leader." That was probably. My, I think that's still my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Someone uh, actually, it was Mike, the drummer. Uh -huh. He said, uh, "You know what's so cool about Peter is that him." So the Newsboys with Peter and. Uh, probably DC Talk, have changed Christian music, like revolutionized it in that sense, and has written the soundtrack to many of our lives. And I thought, that is so well put um, of the uh, wonderful work that you guys have done, the hard work, I'm sure, and uh, how many lives. I remember you speaking at uh, Creation West Coast, and uh, I mean, I was a Newsboys fan, but I remember even when you just shared your heart, I was like, this guy is legit. Right. So, uh, I have been blessed, our church is blessed to have you today, so thank you so much for being here. Well, I'm looking forward to it. It's a beautiful uh, venue, and I'm sure uh, I can't wait to meet some more people. All right. 
So make sure that you come out. Uh, it's nine o'clock today. There's only one service. Remember to bring your jerseys and then there's a tailgate party afterwards with a barbecue. That's free. So we'll see you then.